How's it going, people? Look what I got in the mail. Book of Mormon, Doctrine and Covenants, Pearl of Great Price. I got it online. It was supposed to be large print. It's bigger than the other print, but it's not very large. It still might do. Fortunately, I don't have to worry about it just yet. I'm still working on uh, this one. Gotta keep trying something new. Cherry wheat. Had to try it. Chapter 3 of Alma. So listen to this. And it came to pass that the Nephites, who were not slain by the weapons of war, after having buried those who had been slain, now the number of the slain were not numbered because of the greatness of their number. And yet, I seem to recall in the last chapter, they did number them. Yeah. Yeah. We're slain to the Amalekites. All right, maybe this is, uh, that's right. They didn't number the Lamanites battle. Because that must have been just, I mean, the sands of the fucking sea. Yeah. All right, I stand correct. Yeah, uh, because of the greatness of their number. After they had finished burying their dead, they all returned to their lands and to their houses. Where their, yeah, their houses are in their lands. Yeah. And to their wives and to their children. Now many women and children had been slain with the sword. And also, many of their flocks and their herds, and all, and and also many of their fields of grain were destroyed because they were growing wheat and barley in America before it was brought over. <sighs> yeah, we're trodden down by the hosts of men. Uh, Slain with a sword, huh? I mean, that's fine. It's poetic and all. all these men and women and children being slain with a sword. But are you saying the archers were lousy? No sling stones killed anybody? Slain by the sword. Just say slain, dickhead. Because I'm sure a few people died from arrow wounds. and Slain by the sword. Sorry, that just annoyed me. Uh, and now, as many of the Lamanites and Amalekites who had been slain upon the bank of the river Sidon uh, were cast into the waters of Sidon, like you said before in the last chapter, and behold, their bones are in the depths of the sea, and there are many. Lots of bones. And the Amalekites were distinguished, distinguished from the Nephites, for they had marked themselves with red on their foreheads after the manner of the Lamanites. Nevertheless, they had not shorn their heads like the Lamanites. Now the heads of the Lamanites were shorn, and they were naked, save it were skin which was girded about their loins and also their armor which was girded about them 
and their bows and their arrows and their stones and their slings and so forth and so forth that's verse 5 and so forth etc and the skins of the Lamanites were dark according to the mark which was set upon their fathers which was a curse upon them because of their transgression and their rebellion against their brethren who consisted of Nephi, Jacob, and Joseph, and Sam. Why is Sam at the end? Okay, whatever. Who were just and holy men. I guess he was the one that just didn't make as good turn out as well. Uh, and their brethren sought to destroy them. Therefore, they were cursed. And the Lord God set a mark upon them, yea, upon Laman and Lemuel, and also the sons of Ishmael, and Ishmaelite women. And this was done that their seed might be distinguished from the seed of their brethren, that thereby the Lord God might preserve his people, that they might not mix and believe in incorrect traditions that... Uh, uh, which would prove their destruction. Cherry. And it came to pass that whosoever did mingle his seed with the Lamanites, time or two, like Red Fox said, it doesn't matter what color you are. When the lights are out, all that matters is who washed. I miss Red Fox. Uh, yeah, whosoever did mingle his seed with that of the Lamanites did bring the same curse upon his seed. Therefore, whosoever suffered himself to be led away by the Lamanites was called under that head and there was a mark set upon him. Ah. And it came to pass that whosoever would not believe in the tradition of the Lamanites but believe those records which were brought out of the land of Jerusalem, these records, and also in the tradition of their fathers, which were correct, who believed in the commandments of God and kept them, who were called the Nephites, or the people of Nephi, from that time forth. And it is they who have kept the records which are true of their people and also of the people of the Lamanites. Now we will return again to the Amalekites for they also had a mark, mark set upon them, yea, they set the mark upon themselves, yea, even a mark of red upon their foreheads. Is that like the other Indians? It sounds like that Hindu dot. A red mark on their foreheads. I mean, it might have been some other kind of mark on their foreheads that's red, but interesting, you know. What's this? Place. Oh, there it is. Uh, yeah. Thus, the word of God is fulfilled. For these are the words which he said to Nephi, Behold, the Lamanites have I cursed, and I will set a mark on them, that they and their seed may be separated from thee, and, their, they, and thy seed from this time henceforth and forever except they repent of their wickedness and turn to me 
uh, that I may have mercy upon them. And again, I will set a mark upon him that mingleth his seed with thy brethren, that they may be cursed also. And again, I will set a mark upon him that fighteth against thee and thy seed. He's on a tangent about something now. I don't think he likes people with dark skin very much. Just a saying. And again, I say that, uh, I say, He that departeth from thee shall no more be called thy seed, and I will bless thee, and whomever shall be called thy seed. Henceforth and forever, and these were the promises of the Lord unto Nephi and his seed. Now the Amalekites knew not that they were fulfilling the words of God when they began to mark themselves in their foreheads. Nevertheless, they had come out in open rebellion against God. Therefore, it was expedient that the curse should fall upon them. It was expedient. He loves that word. Expedient. Now, I would that ye should see that they brought upon themselves the curse. And even so doth every man that is cursed bring upon himself his own condemnation. But you just feel terrible now, everybody. <laughs> now, I'm going to make it all better. Now it came to pass that not many days after the battle, which was fought in the land of Zarahemla by the Lamanites and the Amalekites, that there was another army of Lamanites came in upon, upon the people of Nephi in the same place where the first army met the Amalekites. Ah. And it came to pass that there was an army set to drive them out of the land. <clears throat> now Alma himself, being afflicted with a wound, did not go up to battle at this time against the Lamanites, but he sent up a numerous army against them, and they went up and slew many of the Lamanites and drove the remainder of them out of the borders of the land. And then they returned again and began to establish peace in the land, being troubled no more for a time with their enemies. Now, B.C. 87. Quoting the asterisk. Now all these things were done. Yea, all these wars and contentions were commenced and ended in the fifth year. That was a busy year of the reign of the judges. And in one year were thousands and tens of thousands of souls sent to the eternal world that they might reap their rewards according to the work, their works, whether they were good or whether they were bad, to reap eternal happiness or eternal misery according to the spirit which they listed to obey. They listed to obey. Whether it be a good spirit or a bad spirit. So you got to be careful about shit like that. That's my little Ouija board. 
Found it at the thrift store. Never used it. But I've got it all. Got the box and everything. Maybe some night. That might be fun. If I can get some volunteers. For every man receiveth wages of him whom he listeth to obey. And this according to the words of the spirit of prophecy. Therefore, let it be according to the truth. And thus endeth the fifth year of the reign of the judges. And of chapter 3. I'll see you guys in chapter 4. Anyway, they're trying. You know, it's picking up. It's picking up, you know. Wait till we get to third Nephi, who's another Nephi guy. I think I'll do another chapter after this. Peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful, whatever the fuck it is I might be having. Bye. Dream Theater.